Hey, so um, I'm sitting here waiting for my hockey game to start, so I figured I'd kind of follow up. I made a video a while ago uh, called Guitar Center Sucks, and it got, um, I don't know, I think it has like a couple thousand views or something like that. Not, not a lot, but enough people saw it to where I thought uh, maybe I should say what happens when you make a video like that called Guitar Center Sucks. Um, Guitar Center Corporate reached out to me, and they arranged a meeting between me and the manager of Guitar Center San Diego, which is in, technically it's in La Mesa, <coughs> excuse me, and um, <clears throat> they reached out to me and offered me a gift certificate, uh, valued at $50, and um, they, they wanted me to sit down and talk with the manager about my experiences. So I did. And I sat down with the manager of that store as well as the district manager uh, for, for, for San Diego or this area. Um, <clears throat> and um, what uh, basically happened is they had me come in. They explained maybe a few of the reasons on why I had the experience that I had over the last couple of years. Uh, and they told me what steps they were taking to... Um, kind of move forward and move away from that sort of bad experience that people might have had. Um, they also asked me to remove my video, and I told them that I wouldn't do that. Um, they said it was my choice, but they really wished that I would consider taking it down. Um, I think that's a cop-out. Um, I think that's unnecessary, too, uh, because I told them that I was going to make this video. Now, I, I did make this video. I made it almost a year, I think, after, which is, you know, a while. <laughs> but um, I didn't really feel the need to make this video uh, until I today, and I was bored enough to decide to do it. Um, so what happens when you offend a guitar center is by making a video called Guitar Center Sucks is they send you a gift card. They ask you what happened. They send their manager in to intervene. And then they asked me to remove my video. And I said no. So I bought my MXR EVH Phase 90 or whatever, the that pedal. And I thank them for their time. And I do consider, you know, I do consider them a, a decent store now. Uh, despite that, um, which I think is a huge no-no, especially since people are going to find out about it. Um, that manager actually no longer is there, so that might also speak uh, volumes about kind of what happened. Um, but again, also, I, from what I understand, guitar centers have a little bit of a turnover for their, um, their general managers, uh, depending on which guitar center it is. Um, <clears throat> So, uh, they, they asked me what went wrong, why I made the video. Um, they actually showed the video to their employees too. Um, so now I go in there and one of the managers, the assistant managers in the guitar section kind of knows me and, uh, they said, Hey, I'm a fan of your YouTube channel. And I went, Oh, great. <laughs> here's where, here's where everybody hates me. And, and I kind of, I mean, I knew that would happen or I had a feeling that that would happen or that it could happen. And it still doesn't really bother me. Although there's one guy, there's one guy every time I go in there and if I have to deal with him, um, he's a very, he's very short with me and he's very like, like, He'll, he'll ask, it's weird, he, he almost asks me to kind of talk shop a little bit with him, like, maybe what kind of music I'm into, and then he'll kind of interrupt me, like, with, like, a whole, like, cool story, bro, get the fuck out of here, kind of face, or kind of attitude towards me, which I think is hilarious. Um, so I usually, if I see that he's working, I'll usually, like, wait for him to be available to buy stuff for him, just to see how many times I can get, get him to do it. Um, and, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, uh, you know, the guitar center, whether or not they still suck, I, it's up to you whether, you know, I think that they, they did make strides to improve their customer service. Um, for the most part, um, there are a handful of guys who have been at that guitar center since it was the, in the old building, which was over across town and on Elkhorn Boulevard. 
Um, and those handful of employees are fantastic. They know everything there is to know. I see them at the NAMM show. You know, I see them... So I, I saw, I think I saw one of them at the LA Amp show. Um, so, you know, there are people at Guitar Center who definitely care about their jobs and definitely care about the customers. Uh, and there are people at my Guitar Center who definitely care about the customers and care about the products they sell and what they do, and they take it serious. Um, so if you can maybe weed out the employees that don't care uh, through trial and error, you know, you're going to find somebody good and you're going to find somebody who'll take care of you. And I think that's pretty much the goal in mind. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll try to answer any questions I can uh, when I have time. And um, thanks so much for all the support, the people who have uh, supported my video. Uh, also, uh, for the people who call me a fat fuck, well, you know, hey, I'm trying, man. <laughs> so, uh, you know, have a good day. Have a nice life. Bye.